Hello everyone and welcome to this week's review. I am Prue. Joining me as always is uh is my friend, Mr. Mighty Mango. How are you? Are we real we're real friends, aren't we? We are real friends. Yeah, we're real friends now. That's right. Yeah. We've so met in real met. life. Um <laughs> and you know what? I have a Valentine for you. Oh, you do? I don't. But don't oh. doesn't it feel like we should? Because we the, should after playing this game, game yeah. which was let's let's get into it. All right. All right, so this week we played Solo Islands of the Heart. It was published by Merged Games and developed by Team Gotham. Uh, it has a sale price of nineteen ninety nine, and it released on July thirty first, twenty nineteen. Yeah, so it's, so we'll just call it Solo because that's easier. So, um, so Solo. I, so uh, okay, so it's it's classified on TA as an adventure game, which okay. Uh, yeah, I, I would call it a puzzle adventure game, maybe? Yeah, puzzle adventure, for sure, because it had yeah. little puzzles. Yeah. Um, it's a cutesy adventure game where you basically explore uh, love. Uh, yeah, uh, in the form of islands and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting concept, actually. I, I kind of really liked the idea behind the whole game and in fact i think the writing is pretty solid too so um uh you you are given these questions consistently um and like even when you start up the game for the first for yeah, the it tells first you time. it tells you to answer the questions honestly yeah did, so did you do that yes i did and i actually made the um the love interest my girlfriend's name yes me too yeah yeah so your boat actually turns into your to your love yeah, interest's I, name but. i noticed that that her name was on the boat yep so when you first get into the game, it asks you um, uh, your gender and the gender of the one that you love, and, and then um, what kind of a relationship you have. Like, uh, are you brokenhearted or are you in a good relationship? That sort of thing. And then throughout the game, after you reach these, after you complete your puzzles, you get asked these very personal uh, relationship-based questions, and the game, the the text changes based on what what you give the game. And yeah. I thought it was actually a kind of a I neat thought, concept. I think it's a neat idea, just kind of yeah. to tap into your emotions and then change the way the way the game plays or speaks to you. I think it's a neat idea. Yeah. So you know, like um, I'm trying to think of an example of one of the questions. Um, so one of the questions was like, if your uh, loved one decided to, uh, you know, their ambitions carried them to a faraway country, what would you do? Would you follow them? Would you try to convince them to stay home? Or would you, um, you know, would you break it off? And all of the responses that you get from the other, the other uh, characters that you talk to are different based on that. And they're pretty thoughtful, and I think the writing is done pretty well. So I would say that that was what carried me through the game, was the, was the writing in that aspect. I would agree, because the gameplay is... Eh, it's eh. meh. It's it, meh. It's meh. <laughs> it's, um, so what you do... Um, is your uh, basically the only puzzles are that you you kind of create your own platforms in order to reach certain areas? Yeah, with the little boxes and other things. Yeah, you get boxes and then and then fans and and you know all those those kind of tropes. It's a it's a pretty simplistic platforming adventure puzzler game. Um, but I I really think that the strength of the game is in its presentation and it's uh, in the writing as well. I would agree. The writing was very like you said it was inventive. It was different. Which yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. It's a cartoony sort of. Um, uh, so you're it's a three D action. Pl Actually, I don't want to say action, but three D platformer where it's like I guess isometric y kind of. Yeah, it's I definitely isometric y. Yeah. I'd definitely say that. Um, but uh, so let's talk about the achievements. Okay, let's get into them. So there are twenty achievements for a thousand gamer score. Um, currently, there's 180 track gamers in it. 87 have completed it, which. I don't know if the people that didn't complete it, myself included, um, just didn't want to play through the whole amount because the game's not very long. No. Four to five hours. Um, but, yeah, pretty much all of it is, most of it is going, going through the story. A couple of just little task achievements, I'll call them, like pet a hiding mole, which there's little moles that don't look like moles, but apparently they are moles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look there's... like a, um, a diglet. Yes, they do look Pokemon. exactly like Diglett, yeah. <laughs> That's they look Diglett from Pokemon. <laughs> um, yeah, there's actually a, f um, a And then handful? for taking pictures, there's a couple for taking pictures. Yep, yep. Which is actually kind of, that's story related. You actually can't 
progress without doing those. Yeah. So, but there are like I'd say three or four achievements that are missable because you're supposed to pet all the animals, uh, feed sorry, feed all the animals, feed all the animals, and then uh, interact with all the ghost partners. Yep. Yep. So there are, there are some that are are missable, but they're not that you don't have to go out of your way to do these things. Like all of those things are on the path. There's no, it's not a branching path. It's like um, very small grids of, of islands. So you, you can see everything in front of you. Um, so you just kind of have to... You, you, it's possible to miss it, I suppose, but you if you want to... You kind of have to go to each one anyway. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to, you can follow a guide. But honestly, a guide, I wouldn't consider it necessary, but it would speed up the process. Yeah, it would speed it up, but I, I would think it would ruin a little bit of the experience too. Yeah. If you actually want to... Because the game is short enough that you should be able to enjoy it. It doesn't feel daunting it doesn't feel like a task like oh my god i gotta do this now um one thing on it though it does have two different achievements for finishing the game which you can stop you can reboot and then choose the other ending yep yeah there is a very specific way to to circumvent that you actually have to pick one specific ending then uh quit in a very specific way so you i would definitely recommend if you don't want to do two playthroughs to um to look that up but other than that you can i don't think you can go back for the missables but i really don't think as long as you know what they are going in you kind of don't need to, to follow a guide uh, unless you get stuck on something because some of the platforming puzzles they're not terribly challenging but they're just frustrating enough where it's like uh okay i don't want to spend 10 more minutes on this particular section especially when you're more interested in just getting to the next part where it's like talking about your love life and stuff so it, it's but it's still good. I I, yeah. I did enjoy my time with the game. I think I enjoyed the, Like I said, I didn't play through it as much, just because of life commitments. But uh, the game is actually it's it's very enjoyable. I mean, it's a good story. It's fun. I had fun with it. I I want to go back and finish it if I can make the time to do it. So yeah. Well, what do you think about the price? Twenty is a little steep, I think, because it's a shorter. It's a shorter adventure yeah i would say it's probably i would have put 15 as as the ex, like, like right on the dot price you know, yeah i think so 15 on, i think is fair because it, it, it it is well done it is a well done game yeah and has tons of charm and it's cutesy and fun and colorful it, it, it's you know I, I would say knock five dollars off the price knock maybe an hour off the the running time and and you're going to have a really solid experience. I just think it's a it's a little bit longer than it needs to be and a little bit more pricey, but it's still I think it's still a good time. I think if your character could move faster, that would be helpful. Yes, yes. The character seems to kind of be moving through molasses a little bit in the game. There is a run, but even that is... Even is that pretty, is pretty slow. Yeah. That should uh, be the default speed, and then there should be a run button that makes you go faster. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Uh, let's see, anything else to talk about Solo Islands of the Heart? I don't think so. I think your dog says I think it's enough. Yeah, sorry, but she, she's, <laughs> she's had enough. She wants to play. So, all right. Um, okay, so that was it for Solo Islands of the Heart. And we... <laughs> I'm going to do that again. You can cut that out, Jen or whoever. <clears throat> or leave it. It's kind of funny. Yeah, you can delete it. Shh! <laughs> okay, so that is it for Solo Islands of the Heart, and we will throw it back to you guys. <laughs> 